Hi everybody, welcome. King of the Kern here, fighting you along on our first of what's going to be many adventures here in Kern County. As always, all of our trips will start at the Riverview Lodge in downtown Kernville. There we go, for those of you not familiar, here's our quaint little town. I'm going to show you real quick what we got. This is the lodge here, and as you can see, we are situated directly on the Kern River. Our guys down there fishing right now today. I just stocked fish, so trout always in the Kern River. Our adventures are going to consist of four-wheeling, fishing, uh, we're going to do prospecting, which we're doing today. We're going to have some whitewater rafting, do some lake sports, and uh, we just got all kinds of stuff coming on. So I invite you to tune into my channel and come along for the adventure. All right, so this little creek here, filling up some buckets. I already got one full in the back of the Jeep. I'm going to fill up two more so I can wet classify my material down to an eighth of an inch for the gold cube. So, it's a little too far away to be running material back and forth, so it's better just to take the water, classify it, and then take it back to the lodge, clean it. All right, so this is the area I chose to work. As you can see, we got some good bedrock, and then that's key here in the Kern, Kernville, Kern area, Kern County, you need to find bedrock. What we're looking for, you can see down here, I get my shadow off of it. This is all old quartz and stuff. This is what you call old ground, which has never been disturbed before, it's sitting on top of bedrock. And what we're looking for is about this top four to six inches right in here. You can see it goes up to about the top of that rock right there. And that's all our old stuff, so we don't need to worry about the top. I've been digging over in here you can see bedrock kind of dropped and I hated to move that much overburden so I've been staying up on the shallower stuff and doing okay but you can see right there is a good level indicator you can see down to where the old ground starts all that rock and then you see the topsoil on top of that you can just chuck all that there's no gold in that so I'm going to take this stuff today I'm going to classify it down to an eighth inch to run through the gold cube do that back at the lodge so I'm going to get on uh, moving off some of that topsoil there, get, get a bunch of that uh, old ground exposed, and then I'll be uh, digging and classifying that. All right, so I've stripped the top off of this whole area right there. I'm down into the old ground there. You see what I've taken off. You can tell as you're getting down there, start to see the gravels start to pop up. Right there's some more gravel popping up. Plus we're getting into these big rocks. And if you look at this rock, I mean, it's it's 90% quartz. You know, mineralized, good looking quartz. So, I mean, obviously that's a good indicator of gold. Doesn't necessarily mean that there is gold here, but uh, always a good sign. And like I say, when you can find this old ground, and there's workings around here, sometime I'll show it to you. I just don't want to give away this spot right now, but uh, there's a lot of old, old-timer workings from the 1800s around here, so they work this pretty darn hard. I just happened to find a patch that they didn't finish out, so that works to me. But uh, I'm going to run this through. As you can see over here, I've got my bucket of water set up, 8th-inch classifier for the gold cube. So I'm going to classify some of this material out. Try and get a couple of buckets, two, maybe three buckets if I'm lucky. There's a lot of rock in here, so even though this looks like a lot of material that I got left there, it's going to classify down. That's probably one bucket load when it gets done. There's a lot of this uh, DG in here. Obviously, this is granite we're working on. And you can see all the decomposed granite gravels you got right there. So that's not going to go through an eighth inch classifier. And that's 80% of what the ground is when you get down in here. You can see it's pretty big gravel. So my classified bucket is going to be small now. Yeah, I know, eighth inch, I could be missing nuggets, but the uh, main thing is we don't get that many nuggets down here, really. A uh, nugget here is actually, you know, grain of sand style, so most of that will go through the eighth inch classifier. But I'll come back and run over my my tailings pile with a metal detector just to make sure we didn't miss nothing. But 
Anyway, I'm gonna get this cleaned up, classified down, and scrape down bedrock now. It is a little wet, so unfortunately, you know, it's gonna look a little muddy on there. I'm gonna see if I can't wash some of it down, clean it up better, but you know, we all know we may be leaving gold on the bedrock if there's mud stuck to it. But I'm thinking the rest of this is still pretty good, so we'll see. Okay, so I've cleaned off that section of bedrock. Got back. Basically, I kind of ran out of time. So what I did, just to make sure that I was still on gold, I was pretty sure I was, but I wanted to make sure. The bedrock starts to dive right along that, right at the end there, and I didn't really feel like chasing it down too much. So I took some gravel right along there at the dive spot, and uh, just to check, see if I was on some gold still and I hope this will show it but right up the top right there oh, what am I getting I'm getting camera glare okay there we go nice piece of gold right there so I'm getting ready to snuff that up we ended up with two buckets out of all that stuff and uh, I figured it'd be about two to three by the time I got all classified down. And I, I tried to wash that off, as you can see, as much as I could with water. I do have a little bit of water coming through here so I can kind of get pans and fill up a half a bucket or so and pour it down, try and wash everything down. So I'm hoping I got most of the bedrock clean on that. But just to show you, I mean, talk about a tailing pile, you know, terrain pile. Look at that quartz, if you can see that. And this is what we're pulling out all the time. I mean... It's just all old, old, good mineralized quartz in there. I mean, the ground's just, it's just littered with it here. You know, there's some more pieces. This is my tilling pile from today. So, like I say, classifying down to an eighth, I end up with a lot of leftover stuff. So, I'll come back and hit that with a metal detector just to make sure. The wifey classifies for me, and she does a darn good job of making sure nothing gets through. So... Even pretty rocks, she's got a great collection, so. Anyway, uh, let's go back and run it through the uh, gold Thank cube. You. See what we got. Okay, so I thought I'd show you my gold cube set up here. Um, I got a kind of a unique little thing here. I've got access to this ditch here. This comes off about a mile and a half up river. They divert the water through town. And everybody who's on it for 40 bucks a year can use as much of the water as they want for um, agriculture, irrigation, stuff like that. Obviously not drinking water, but I'm the last in line before it dumps back into the river. In fact, it goes right down there, goes through that culvert, and it'll dump right back out in the Kern River. So, I've got a constant supply of fresh water. My pump submerged down in the water. As you can see, I've got good flow on the gold cube. Best part of all, no tailings to deal with. All the tailings will drop right back out. Right there. Go right down, flush right back out into the river. So, uh, kind of a unique situation. So, getting ready to run this here. And uh, I got two, ended up with, uh, like I said, two buckets. Fully classified, eighth inch material. So, uh, we're going to go and uh, run a little, run this through and uh, see what we get. See if our work paid off for the day. Okay, so here's my panning station. Got my mud tub filled with uh, five gallons of water straight off of the Kern River ditch there. And then what we're gonna do, of course, jet dry. Secret ingredient, everybody, make sure. Especially if you're dealing with fine gold like we are here around Kernville. All right, so. Uh, I've got my concentrates out of the gold cube. In the other mud tub, I washed them out in there. And as you can see, that's probably, I don't know, maybe a cup full, just over a cup full of concentrates. That's the best thing about the gold cube. It cleans it down to nothing and it catches everything. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me pan, but I will show you the results later. And we'll see. Okay, so there is our final gold right there. So again, you know, we got I don't know, 25, 30 pieces there maybe, if you count all the, the really, really little stuff. But uh, 
I was hoping for a couple chunkier pieces. It wasn't there. I think if I chase that bedrock down further, I should get uh, better. No, I didn't make you guys watch me pan, or, or you didn't get to watch me pan. But I don't have a tripod right now. I'm working on that. Getting my GoPro involved. It's all just phone video. So, anyway, um, still, you know, it, I think we dug out there for two hours at the most, you know, and that was at a leisurely pace. So, um, and this place is less than 10 miles from my house, so that's another good thing. So, um, until next time.